the fountain was here. I remembered where we used to play. The stone god. The waterfall. I didn't expect to see you so soon. Have you seen your father? Yes, I saw him. I also saw an entire part of the forest cut down. It's sad. Idols like that were put here to protect this place. He's doing okay. Remember we used to think this thing would come alive? <laughs> Ah. <laughs> you always got so scared. There's no need. in charge, the chief. It's an emergency. Mr. Capitan, an officer here wants to speak to you. I've come to report a massacre, sir. What? The entire Makuxi village has been wiped out. What you're saying is very serious. You sure about this? One of them died in my arms less than an hour ago, full of bullet holes. Well, thank you for reporting this. What uh, brings you here? I'm on leave to see my family. Do you have your passport with you, Mr. Uh... Morel, Daniel F., United States Marine Corps, sir. Just the usual stuff. Meanwhile, someone will take your case. Phone on your desk, sir. Yeah, Whitaker here. Yeah, Captain, what is it? What kind of a problem? An American. It's probably just some dumb ecologist. Unfortunately, no. This Dan Morel is an American officer. Look, Captain, to tell you the truth, I don't give a damn. The company takes too much money to solve this problem. Now, you know what you have to do. Do some kind of a fiddle with his passport, get him on a plane, get him the hell out of here. I don't want to have to worry about these things, you understand? You take care of it. Senor Morel, Capitan Campos wants to speak to you.
Mr. Morel. I contacted my command, and uh, they don't know anything. You understand, uh, without any proof, I can do nothing. I drove through the building. And it was destroyed. What more proof do you want? How did you get to be an American? According to your passport, you were born here. My mother was American. She married the Tuxao of Matauruca. I see. That explains everything. Your passport? Well, there is one minor detail. I noticed that your visa expired today. What is this? It means that one of my guards is going to drive you to the airport to make sure that you don't break the law. You son of a bitch. <laughs>
can blow us all to hell. The only thing dangerous around here is your food, Cookie. Come on, fellas, let's go. The trucks are waiting. Now let's get this stuff packed and out of here. I want everything up at that advanced base that we need. We want to finish this road in the next two weeks. We're going to be a deep ship. Yeah, but I'm just how busy things are. All right, well, then build more barges. Put everybody on double time. Whatever we need. Got to get this road of the mine through before the rainy season. Our uh, Colonel, Captain Campos is here. Uh, remember that phone call the American officer? Just a couple of drinks, I'm saying. Phone call, yes. Well, uh, it turns out he's a half breed. Actually, it's a little messy. From the information I gathered, he's the son of an American woman and an Indian chief. Now he's. Uh, Excuse me, Captain. Without the Vaseline, what does this half breed want? He, uh, well, he found out about the massacre. You know, the incident uh, at Makutsi. Yes. He's also the son of the Tutsawa of Mataruka. Uh, the one who, let's say... What happened to the Tutsawa of Mataruka? Well, it seems that, uh... Oh, uh maybe... Jade, uh, a bunch of dirt, uh, and then maybe... took himself under with other things. Maybe Tutsawa committed suicide. 